This should not be possible. Those are the four words that reverberate through the laboratories and control rooms when an observation confronts our most trusted theories and refuses to be accommodated. When detectors designed to listen to the quiet whispers of the cosmos register a note that defies the vocabulary of established physics, we are forced to examine our assumptions to reevaluate the scaffolding of theory that we have built over a century. The signal label 3 I Atlas, recorded in the quiet hours when the human imagination is unguarded and scientific instruments stand sentinel, presents precisely this challenge, a compact, coherent distortion that appears to have bent space-time in a manner not readily explained by ordinary astrophysical processes. To understand why that claim, if confirmed, would require a revolution in our conceptual architecture, we must return to the foundations of how we think about space, time, and the interplay between energy and geometry in the um, language of general relativity. Mass and energy tell space-time how to curve, and space-time tells mass and energy how to move. This elegant feedback, formulated by Einstein, has been tested in hundreds of experiments the precession of Mercury's perihelion, the bending of starlight by the sun, the timing of binary pulsars, and the recent direct detection of gravitational waves. Each of these phenomena is an instance of geometry responding to content. Yet the curvature invoked by those examples is generally gentle and predictable, arising from objects whose masses, distances, and dynamics can be measured and modeled. A localized, transient bending of space-time, an imprint that does not map easily to a compact object, a collision, or a known astrophysical engine prompts the question, what is the minimal set of physical ingredients that can produce such an imprint? The search for answers forces us to confront the frontier between the classical geometry of general relativity and probabilistic, non-local rules of quantum mechanics. On the one hand, we have a continuum of space-time described by smooth manifolds and differential equations. On the other, we have quantum fields and their excitations, subject to uncertainty, superposition, and entanglement. The signal we call 3i atlas may be telling us that these two frameworks, which have coexisted for almost a century as complementary but conceptually incompatible descriptions, are engaging in an interaction we have not yet learned to read. Consider the possibility that the bending is not produced by conventional matter, but by a concentration of energy that does not couple to light in the usual way. Dark matter and dark energy are, by their definitions, invisible in electromagnetic radiation. Their fingerprint is gravitational. If 3i atlas is gravitationally active, but electromagnetically silent, then we may be witnessing a localized fluctuation of the dark sector. That would be profound. A direct, dynamical glimpse into the dominant species of the cosmos. But before embracing such a radical interpretation, we must carefully exclude mundane explanations. Instrument artifacts, terrestrial interference, miscalibrations, known but rare astrophysical events. Scientific reasoning demands rigor and humility. Anomalies must be interrogated relentlessly. Yet even as we apply skepticism, we must allow our mathematical imagination to roam across less trodden terrain. If the curvature cannot be accounted for by conventional energy distributions, we are compelled to entertain exotic sources, topological defects left over from early universe phase transitions, microscopic black holes, evaporating and bursts of gravitational radiation, or manifestations of higher dimensional geometry leaking into our four-dimensional space-time. String theory, which seeks a unified description of all forces by replacing point particles with vibrating one-dimensional strings, introduces extra spatial dimensions that are normally compact and hidden at scales far beyond current experiments. Under certain conditions, however, the geometry of these extra dimensions can influence observable physics. A transient excitation in the higher dimensional manifold could project onto our space-time as a localized curvature anomaly, an imprint that appears to bend space without an accompanying luminous counterpart. This is not fanciful speculation. 
The mathematics of higher dimensional models provides precise mechanisms by which geometry in unseen dimensions can source effective stress energy in the observable universe. If such a mechanism were at work, 3i Atlas would be the first whisper we have ever heard from the topology of the extra dimensions. The implications would be staggering. Confirmation that our universe is a four-dimensional slice of a higher dimensional structure, and that these hidden dimensions are not merely static scaffolding, but dynamic participants in cosmic evolution. To evaluate such claims, we require a synthesis of observational cosmology, gravitational theory, and high energy physics. We must ask whether the signal's temporal profile, angular distribution, and frequency content align with predictions for a higher dimensional leakage event, or whether they better match the signatures of primordial black holes, axion condensates, or even new quantum states of space-time itself. The quantum nature of gravity, the holy grail of theoretical physics, has been the subject of intense effort for decades. Quantum gravity aims to reconcile the smooth geometry of space-time with the discrete probabilistic rules that govern matter at the smallest scales. In many candidate theories, space-time at the Planck scale becomes foamy, ill-defined, or discrete. If quantum gravitational effects can be amplified through high-energy processes, topological transitions, or coherent quantum states, then macroscopic classical structures might inherit subtle quantum imprints a transient that appears to bend space-time could be the macroscopic shadow of a collective quantum event. A phase transition in a gravitational condensate, an interference pattern of quantum geometric modes, or a collapse of a metastable vacuum region. Each of these possibilities connects to profound questions about the stability of the vacuum, the origin of physical constants, and the very concept of locality we must also consider the role of information. Quantum mechanics teaches that information is fundamental, conserved in closed systems, and yet encoded in ways that challenge classical intuition. Black hole thermodynamics and the information paradox have taught us that gravity and information are intimately linked. If 3i Atlas involves a concentration of information encoded not in photons but in the entanglement of quantum fields, the result could be a gravitational response that reveals the information content through geometry. In other words, geometry may be the book in which information is written. This notion is not merely poetic. It is grounded in the holographic principle which emerge from the study of black holes and string theory. The holographic principle suggests that a region of space can be fully described by degrees of freedom on its boundary, implying a deep equivalence between volume and surface descriptions of physics. If transient events can reorganize degrees of freedom on effective boundaries, the resulting gravitational signal could be an accessible window into the microscopic bookkeeping of quantum fields. Beyond the theoretical underpinnings, we must examine the technological and observational architecture that allowed the detection of such a signal. Modern observational science has become an orchestra of complementary instruments. Optical telescopes, radio arrays, neutrino detectors, gamma ray observatories, and gravitational wave interferometers. Each instrument listens to a different channel of nature's broadcast. The synergy between the multi-messenger astronomy was demonstrated decisively when gravitational waves and electromagnetic signals were observed from a single binary neutron star merger. That event inaugurated a new era. No longer do we rely on a single kind of messenger to tell the universe's story. We cross-check, triangulate, and synthesize. In the case of 3i Atlas, the absence of an electromagnetic counterpart is itself a data point. It suggests a source that couples weakly, if at all, to photons. Neutrino observatories report null results. Gamma ray monitors are silent. And yet gravitational channels register an unmistakable perturbation. Such a pattern would favor interpretations involving weakly interacting sectors or pure geometry. The challenge for instrumentalists and theorists alike is to extract maximal information from a sparse signal. This requires novel data analysis techniques, 
matched filter templates that capture exotic signatures and careful assessments of background noise. It also demands new experiments designed to probe the parameter space suggested by the anomaly, high sensitivity gravitational detectors operating at different frequencies, precision timing arrays that can measure the arrival times of pulses from millisecond pulsars across decades, space-based interferometers that open access to low-frequency gravitational bands, and laboratory-based experiments pushing quantum control to unprecedented regimes. The technological imperative is clear. To test bold theoretical proposals, we must extend our observational reach. The potential payoff extends far beyond resolving a single anomaly. If we succeed in unveiling new components of the cosmos, whether they be dark sector excitations, higher dimensional geometries, or macroscopic quantum phenomena, we will fundamentally alter our conception of what the universe is made of and how it behaves. This enterprise also carries philosophical weight. Human beings have long sought to know whether the cosmos is comprehensible, lawful, and comprehensively describable by a finite set of principles. The history of physics is a sequence of unifications. Newton's unification of terrestrial and celestial mechanics. Maxwell's unification of electricity and magnetism. The unification of space and time in relativity. And the ongoing unification of forces in particle physics. Each step reduces the number of independent assumptions required to describe reality. The detection of an anomaly that hints at higher dimensional dynamics or new quantum gravitational effects would be a continuation of this unifying project, but it could also compel us to revise the very nature of what we consider fundamental. We may find that locality is emergent, that space-time is a derived concept, and that information or entanglement underlies geometry. Such reconceptualizations are not idle metaphysics. They lead to testable predictions, new classes of experiments, and technologies that once seemed impossible. Consider, for a moment, the technological implications of harnessing subtle geometrical effects. If we can understand and then control localized curvature, if we can manipulate the stress-energy tensor through engineered quantum states or through coupling to exotic fields, then the door opens to applications we can only begin to Imagine precision control of inertial frames, novel forms of energy transfer, and spacecraft that exploit space-time geometry rather than brute force propulsion. These are not immediate engineering projects. They are long-range possibilities contingent upon fundamental breakthroughs. Yet, history teaches that basic scientific discoveries, when properly understood and applied, yield transformative technologies. Another thread in this tapestry is the evolution of intelligence and the role of artificial systems in decoding the universe. The analysis of weak, complex signals is an area where machine learning and artificial intelligence have already proven indispensable. Neural networks, Bayesian inference engines, and generative models can detect patterns invisible to traditional pipelines, propose candidate physical models, and suggest where to look next. However, AI is not a substitute for theory. It is a complement. The most productive approach combines the pattern-finding ability of machine systems with the constraining power of theoretical physics. When a machine proposes a candidate explanation for 3i atlas, human physicists must subject it to the crucible of logical consistency, conservation laws, and falsifiable predictions. This partnership between artificial cognition and human reasoning will shape the future of discovery. As we contemplate the discovery process itself, we are drawn inevitably to the broader question of humanity's destiny in a cosmos that increasingly reveals its complexity. We are a technological species emerging in an environment where the rules of nature permit intelligence to interrogate the very fabric of reality. Our instruments extend our senses across vast distances and timescales. Our theories compress data into compact principles that allow prediction and control. The possible detection of previously unknown gravitational phenomena is a reminder that our journey of understanding is far from complete. 
It is also a reminder that we live in a universe with latent structure, structure that may be harnessed for exploration, that may shape the emergence of life and intelligence, and that may set the boundaries of what technological civilizations can achieve. In the decades and centuries ahead, the questions provoked by anomalies such as 3 I atlas will guide the construction of a new physics. We will refine our theories, expand our observational capabilities, and perhaps discover new mathematical languages better suited to describing a universe where geometry, information, and quantum fields are facets of a single underlying reality. This is the arc of scientific progress, a cycle of perplexity, hypothesis, measurement, and synthesis that gradually enlarges the domain of comprehension. My final reflection is sober and precise. Anomalies should be treated with both skepticism and imagination. Skepticism protects us from error. Imagination enables us to conceive of novel mechanisms and to design decisive tests. If 3i Atlas withstands scrutiny, if independent detectors corroborate its signature, and if its properties resist conventional explanation, then we will have before us a doorway into new physics. Through rigorous analysis, technological innovation, and cross-disciplinary collaboration, we will learn whether the anomaly is an ephemeral artifact or the first signpost to a deeper layer of reality. Either outcome deepens our knowledge, resolving an anomaly refines our experimental craft, confirming a new phenomenon expands our theoretical horizon. In both cases, the enterprise of science advances. The universe uh, challenges us by presenting data that strain our current frameworks. Our response must be to sharpen our tools, to broaden our theoretical vistas, and to remain faithful to the empirical method that has reliably guided progress. The search for understanding is not merely an academic pursuit. It is the defining activity of an intelligent species engaged with its cosmic environment. When an observation tells us this should not be possible, it is not a provocation to cynicism, but an invitation to inquiry, a call to extend the reach of reason into territories that have not yet been charted. The work that follows such an invitation, careful measurement, creative theory, and relentless testing has been the engine of civilization's advance. If 3i Atlas is the herald of a new phenomenon, then future generations will trace a line from that first puzzling signal to a richer, more unified description of nature. If it is an instructive false alarm, future scientists will still have learned how to construct better instruments, how to sift noise from signal, and how to refine the art of discovery. Either way, the story continues and the cosmos keeps its secrets only until we learn the appropriate questions and build the instruments capable of answering them.